So we're going to look at another classification of fungi, and this time we're going to look at the taxonomical kind of classification. So earlier we talked about the classification based on morphology, which is shape, and uh, the taxonomical classification looks at a different aspect. Basically, it looks at um, the spores that are produced at the sexual stage. So based on this kind of uh, spores, we can classify these fungi into four main classes, zygomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes, and deuteromycetes. So we'll first look at zygomycetes, basically regarded as a lower level kind of fungi because of uh, lack of acepti or sept acept acceptize or the, or the hyphae. So these ones normally, um, they produce uh, what we call um, sporangiospores, and they are found in this kind of sac that is called a sporangium. So uh, as opposed to what we mostly look at the other types, these spores, the sporangium are produced in its asexual uh, stage. However, sometimes you find that uh, these fungi are exhibiting or they are basically trying to live in an environment that is very harsh. And in such kind of instances, uh, we will not have this kind of asexual uh, reproduction. We might have hyphae that uh, come and basically touch each other and they form what we call a zygospore. So in this case, we, what we have down here is a zygospore. And in this case, in asexual reproduction, what we have is a, so, a sporangiospores. So it's important we know that sporangiospores are the ones that are produced during asexual reproduction while we have the zygospore being produced during the sexual reproduction. That is actually the reason why this class is called zygomycetes, because it's the zygospores that are produced during uh, sexual reproduction. A classical example of this is um, the, the, the common mold, the common uh, bread mold, uh, which is called the rhizopus. So, so rhizopus stolonifa is a classical example of a fungi that is in this class of zygomycetes. The next class is ascomycetes, and it's called asco uh, because it has a structure like um, sac-like structure, what we, what we call um, ascas. So these ascas are basically the ones that um, harbor the spores, and the spores that are found in these sac-like structures, these sac-like structures are what we call ascospores. Okay, so and even the um, the hi-fi, if the hi-fi, you check the hi-fi, the hi-fi actually saved it. So if you look at this structure, this hi-fi actually have septums and they actually saved it. So ascomycetes are called that way because they actually have ascospores that are found inside a sac-like structure that is called ascas. And sometimes you might hear actually it being called a cup, um, cup-like structure or a cup fungi. Classical example of um, the fungi that are found in this class include Candida and also Histoplasma. Then the other one is Basidiomycetes. So Basidiomycetes is also an interesting one. So um, it is characterized by, by a sexual reproduction where you have hyphae being formed. And in this kind of um, sexual reproduction, they uh, have specialized cells that are called Basidia. So these Basidia are like club-like structures the one that you're seeing here, me pointing, they are clad like structures that contain spores that are called basidiospores. Okay, so and that is why they, uh, we have the name basidios, basidiomycetes. So, a classical example of um, fungi under this class is the mushrooms and the toadstools, and they normally have this kind of cup like structure, a cup, a cup like structure that we call a basidio cup. So this kind of uh, cup that is here, or the structure that, that looks like an umbrella, mm -hmm. is called a basidio cup. Okay, so that, those are basidiomycetes. Uh, finally, we have the deuteromycetes. Now, this one is also called a fungi infector, and the, the only reason is we cannot really tell which kind of uh, sexual state that they're normally in, okay? So they produce septic hyphae, uh, but cannot be classified into sexual or asexual because their sexual state is unknown. And remember, all the other fungi that we've been giving a name is normally based on the kind of spores that are produced during their, during their sexual state, okay? And actually, most medical, uh, medically important fungi are actually in this class. So a classical example is trichophyton, and that is what makes up the deuteromycetes, or what we call fungi imperfecta.
So just to recap the classification based on taxonomy, uh, we have the zygomycota or the, the phyla zygomycota or zygomycids. Then we have ascomycids. Uh, you can see examples here like yeast, uh, truffles, and people actually eat truffles. And then basidiomycids, uh, classical example like the mushrooms. And we have the fungi imperfecta, uh, basically the deuteromycids. Uh, that basically we cannot tell which kind of sexual state they are in. So thank you very much.